it's okay, actually. Uh, I guess this will be a dope way to start the interview. Uh, so, what's up? <laughs> we are talking about Tupac Shakur. Before we uh, get started, right? Uh -huh. Who do we have? We have Teresa Cardozo Crawford, uh, aka Terry. Um, where are you from originally, Miss Teresa? Originally from Queens, New York. Born and raised, 134th Ave, Guy R. Brewer, um, Rochdale Village. Um, we was having a pretty emotional mm -hmm. conversation. Excuse me. We was having a pretty emotional conversation um, when the camera first came on. And we was talking about a friend that's pretty close to you. You mind mentioning to the fans who we talking about? We're talking about Tupac Shakur. Um, we met way before his career even started. Um, he was 15. I was 18. Um, my girlfriend Chanel, uh, 18. And his cousin Kendrick, uh, he was 24. Um, Mr. Kendrick is still here with us today. Yes. Uh, he currently resides in Atlanta, Georgia. Not Georgia. He's not. Is he in Atlanta, Georgia? He's in. Right he's in Tucker, Georgia. Tucker, Georgia, right mm -hmm. now. Um, still a pretty big advocate for Tupac. Yes, very much so. And this was his first cousin. First cousin. His mother and Tupac's mother. Only two sisters. And that was Mr. Fanny Shakur. Rest in peace. And yeah. Miss Gloria. Gloria. That's his mother's name. Um, how did? How did you become acquaintances with those guys? <laughs> we were, uh, it was a double date. And um, Tupac was young and he wanted to hang out with his older cousin. And my girlfriend was going out with uh, Kendrick and he asked her to bring along a family member, a sister, a cousin, whatever. and. That's my sister, not blood, but she's my sister, and we used to always hang together. And so I went with her to meet Kendrick and met this other guy, which happened to be Tupac. And so he said, well, I'm about to make a record, I'm about to be big time. I said, whatever. You know, I wasn't thinking about that. Um, but we had a very wonderful time. We laughed. He's a joker. He was a joker. Um, we had food fights in restaurants. Uh, we went to movies. Uh, we just had a ball. We had a ball. Was this around the time that he went to the School of Arts? Yes. Um, he had just gotten in there, as a matter of fact. He was, uh, like I said, he was 15 years old. He went to perform in arts. I went to fashion industries. Um, so a lot of times we seen each other in Manhattan on the train going to school. How was the Tupac before the fame? Uh, totally different. If anybody that knew Pac before he made it, you would not even believe some of the stuff that they say he did and he he portrayed himself to be, he was so, and I still think to this very day, he was always caring. Um, he had a way with him, with the ladies. Um, he was very smart, book smart. Afina taught him very well. Um, he was very intelligent. Um, I just think that being around in the industry, he got to see a lot of things that Maybe he may not have if he wasn't in that industry, but um, totally loved him and loved his personality. Did you have a chance to meet Mr. Lane? I didn't. I didn't. I wish I would have, but I didn't. Um, the industry, do, do you believe, is that what made Pac so aggressive and angry? Very much so. Um, I also knew his friend Stretch. Um, Stretch wasn't in the industry, but he was on the streets. And between the streets and the industry, 
toughened them up. Made them see a lot of stuff, um, and you have to become hard. And so I think he just chose to um, portray that. Did you believe um, that it was fake at all? Or did you really believe that he actually became the person he portrayed? He became that person. Um, the streets led him to that. But he also had an inner heart where a lot of people didn't know either. And unless you knew him, you would just see him as being one of those hard street dudes you know, they didn't care. He had a very caring heart. He loved kids. He loved doing things for children. Um, a lot of things you don't see in some of these actors and rappers um, that are true. It's still a part of them. But a lot of that industry had to change him to fit in that society. Your, um... Are you still in contact with the cousin? Kendrick, very much so. I am. Um, he just sent me some t-shirts, which is for Tupac's birthday. Um, we are trying to get these out there. Thank you. And if anybody wants a shirt, I can uh, direct you on to how to go about getting it. And it's stating Pacavelli. It's stating the 13th, which is the day that he passed. Um, it is also giving you his date of birth here. And it said he's coming back for everything he is owed. Um, mm, so we dope. are prevailing these t-shirts for them. They are $25. Um, and if you want, they have them actually at the Machiavelli uh, production company. Uh, so yeah, I am in contact with him. I just spoke to Kendrick yesterday, as a matter of fact. Hey, Mr. Kendrick, if you're watching, you get to see this, I definitely would like an interview. Yes, yes, I think that would be wonderful. Kendrick, I am going to uh, exchange the information for you to actually do an interview. I think it would be wonderful. What do you want me to say? Street school, Grandma. Street school?